Right, hi, I'm Stefan, Stefan Toma. Um, I have been at Google the last seven and a half years. Uh, Latterly is the global uh, director for learning and development. Um, worked for tech companies for 20, 25 years, though, as in talent development, learning development roles of one sort or another. I think um, it's interesting. I think there are kind of like it's, there's kind of like a perfect storm now now in organisations. Um, on the one hand, there's a level of frustration with traditional approaches and the conventional kind of training-led approaches in organisa organisations. They you know they haven't been hitting the mark. Yeah, we had a problem um, perhaps about six seven years ago in Google, which was around product training, product education for the sales force, and there were challenges around pace of the content. So, so it changed very very rapidly. Uh, and also around the distribution, global dispersion of the audience as well. So where they were physically around, uh, around Europe and around the world. Knowledge has always been locked up in the heads of people in organisations, and finding mechanisms to operate in that world, you know, is I think going to be a key determinant for the success and contribution and impact of learning functions in the future. We wanted, rather than to run conventional type courses, to use line-based people, other employees, in the training process and in the in the learning process. So we came up with a model of G to G, so Googler to Googler. We had YouTube as an as an external proposition. So we thought about YouTube as a model for internal learning and knowledge transference. Um, and, and out of that, we built an experiment. People could upload you know, or create and upload videos, and we would use that in the learning process. So initially, we enlisted what were originally were called G-trainers, so other line-based people who had expertise. So people learned from one another rather than from you know, a trainer who did that in, as a full-time role. The L&D team had to uh, broaden its expertise to support people who are in the G2G network, so both in their delivery skills and capability, um, whether that was live delivery or you know, through remote media, um, and also then in instructional design, simple instructional design, and even program management as well. So the L&D teams grew in its capability to support that learner network and that community. So we still did you know, conventional things, of course, but but there was an increasing focus on supporting that G2G community through either community management um, and encouragement and nurturing and growing of the, of the G2G community. Much of the talk was around you know, how do Googlers learn in the organization and what does the team need to do to help foster and support and encourage that climate in the organization. So, uh, you know, for us at the time, it wasn't around you know some kind of threat to the organisation. Far from it. Actually, this was a much cooler and much more progressive and end-to-end -end approach to um, driving and facilitating learning in the organisation. G to G, Googler to Googler, now covers all pretty much all domain areas from the origins there to now professional skills, uh, training and, and coaching support. I think upwards of about 80% of all internal education is delivered now through this G2G network. I think you need to make it easy for, for learners, so to remove barriers. Um, so to make it easy for learners to share their knowledge and expertise with others. And secondly, so, so that has an element of technology and platform in it. Um, it, it also has a component of legitimacy to it, so it's okay for you to do this as an individual in the organization. And as I now work with companies and clients in an advisory capacity around how do they build you know, an environment of peer-to-peer -peer learning like that, um, what we need, of course, is an enabling platform, an infrastructure, and Fuse offers that capability to organizations.